tell me about this yeah. piece. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, this is probably work that um, I've been doing the longest, and it's hand-cut muslin that's been gessoed, very much like a canvas, painter's mm -hmm. canvas, but um, it's muslin, so it's a little thinner, and then it's coated with, with graphite. So I think about these oftentimes as a kind of drawing, but because it's cut and it's perforated, I'm really interested in the material and the immaterial, you know, mm -hmm. the positive and the negative, or the, the, the presence and the absence and the void, right? But the imagery mm -hmm. is, you know, obviously it's a floral repeat, so if we're thinking about architectural spaces and thinking about things like wallpaper and, you know, things that, you know, obviously in the decorative arts, and then of course my background being textile, I'm always developing these kinds of repeat patterns for cloth, so that's one of my, the things that I, you know, really love to do and I look at the history of ornament and how we ornament our space. With the flowers that I was studying, I was interested in thinking about remembrance. And, and I was thinking about that because I feel like the piece is, um, has a set of time and memory in it as any, as any way because I'm kind of building the process and kind of destroying it or deconstructing it as well as I'm constructing the imagery. And then, of course, the sense of time that it takes to make it. So, um, and then there's just that, um, that idea that a cloth can have an encoded message in it mm -hmm. that could be um, construed by, by somebody else if you understand its meaning. Thank you.